Hey all, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. A few of you have asked me how I dye the tips of my hair, so I thought I might as well do a tutorial on it. And this time I actually dyed my hair two different colors, which I've never done before. I think it turned out pretty cool actually. This is um, the color that I normally put in my hair and it fades to this green that I really like. I don't really know what this is going to fade to. I'm not really that picky honestly. I think it looks cool how it is. I think it's going to look cool when it fades as well. Okay, that's enough of me talking. I'll go ahead into the tutorial now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. This is the state of my hair before I put the temporary color in. And I forgot to mention before that I do have the tips of my hair bleached. If you have dark hair and you want some crazy colors, there's no way around it. You're going to have to bleach your ends. And if you have light hair already, then you lucked out in this case. <laughs> So this is the temporary color that I use. It is a Jerome Russell color and I just got it from a beauty source near me. This is the blue that I use that fades to green that I really like. And the second color is this really awesome vibrant pink. You're also gonna need a brush to put the color on. I got this brush from beauty source as well. You're going to need four pieces of foil to wrap your hair in and you're also going to need four hair bands. The first thing I do is I divide my hair up into four sections to make it easier to apply the color. And I also want to mention that it's best to do this on hair that you haven't cleaned in a couple days so that the temporary color actually sticks to your hair. <laughs> awesome hairstyle. Okay, now you want to take your piece of Foil, and I usually fold one of the edges just to make it so it's not really sharp and it won't like cut my skin or something and then I lay the foil underneath one of the pieces of hair and then we can go ahead and take the color and start applying it to the tips and you just want to go at it get a good amount of color completely saturate your hair in the color I actually miss a spot during this uh, tutorial. You can kind of see it, but it's okay. I mean, it's just temporary color. It'll fade eventually. So you just want to put as much on there as you possibly can without, you know, making it drip everywhere, of course. <laughs> okay, now you just want to wrap it up like a burrito. Uh, yeah, just fold it up, make sure no color is leaking out and make it pretty tight and it pretty much just sticks to your hair. You don't have to worry about it slipping out if you make it secure. I'll just show you guys one more time how I do this with the pink. I'm just brushing it on, really getting the color in there, soaking it up. I also wanna mention that I'm in no way a hair professional. I'm actually really, really terrible at doing hair, so yeah, this is just a testament to how easy it is to put temporary color in your hair because I'm so bad at it. It's super simple, just as long as you don't drip the color anywhere. And if you're worried about, you know, getting color on your floors or anything, just put a towel down. You can wear gloves too if you're worried about it getting in your hands. So here I am just wrapping it up in the burrito again, getting it really secure. You can see all the other burritos in the background. <laughs> And at this point, you're just going to want to wait for as long as the directions on your dye tells you to. Just wait, and then you can take off the foil and rinse your hair out, and you're all done. I hope you all enjoyed watching that tutorial. It was a little bit tricky trying to figure out how to like place the camera in my bathroom and stuff, but hopefully, hopefully it worked out. If you like this tutorial and you decide to dye your hair, I would love to see the results. You can send me a video response, or if you have Instagram, you can put hashtag soothing sister, and then I could see your dyed hair. Or, you know, even if uh, you already have your hair dyed, or if this video didn't actually inspire you initially, but you have your hair dyed, I would just love to see some crazy colors and different people's hair because I like that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. 
if you have any comments or any advice you'd like to give me on how I should actually be dyeing my hair, I would love to hear that as well. If you have Instagram, you can find me at Soothing Sista, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.